Last night on September 15th, 2024, Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted and we didn't even realize this until nearly 12 hours later. This eruption occurred in Kilauea's east rift zone, a third of a mile west of the western edge of Napao Crater. This eruption occurred sometime between 9pm and 10pm local time on September 15th, involving five distinct fissures, the largest of which produced a lava flow that I have geolocated to have a meager area of 16,187 square meters or 4 acres. In total, 25,000 cubic meters of lava was emplaced. So, why did we not immediately realize this eruption occurred? The reason for this was its remote location away from where tourists normally are and hike, its lack of loud roaring from lava fountaining as what did erupt to appear to have been quiet with only minor noises from burning vegetation, a lack of a super tall gas plume at the time of the eruption which was at night, and its absurdly small size. Some locals did report a strong sulfur smell at that time, but since they were located four and a half miles to the north, they did not see any lava. However, this seemingly underwhelming eruption, in my interpretation, is probably not going to be an isolated event. A dominant weak spot now exists to the surface, and pulling magma at shallow depths is quite likely to utilize the same fissures in the East Rift Zone, or general region again in the next month. More specifically, the area I deem to have a potential for the next eruption were one to occur ranges from 700 feet east of Mauna Ulu all the way to the western edge of Napao Crater where magma is still clearly at relatively shallow depths and still accumulating. The next eruption could also be similarly brief but in all likelihood if one does occur it will be larger. However, the good news is that even if this came to fruition, it would still likely be quite brief and non-destructive. You see, eruptions which have occurred in Kilauea's Middle East Rift Zone have almost universally lasted less than a week, with the vast majority lasting less than 24 hours in length such as the September 15th event. Now, I do want to mention that two abnormally several year long eruptions did occur further to the east and west during the 20th century, but not directly where the current intrusion is seemingly centered. Regardless, historical eruptions which occurred in this region all produced lava flows which flows east northeast or south southeast. No homes or structures are located in those directions, and the 1983-2018 to 2018 lava flows from the Pu'u'u'u Kun prevent lava from traveling any further eastward. And, the homes to the north are protected by higher topography, with molten rock not going to flow uphill. However, select longer eruptions in the vicinity could create spectacular lava falls when molten rock cascades into pre-existing pit craters. Thankfully, no one was harmed by this latest eruption as the Kilauea volcano had been at a raised alert level of orange since a day prior and the National Park Service closed the entirety of the Chain of Craters Road which provides access to this very area. So, why did the September 14th intrusion succeed while three earlier intrusions this year in the East Rift Zone failed since all four occurred in a region where only 10% of intrusions produced an eruption? My best guess would be the sheer volume of magma involved, perhaps on the order of at least 20 million cubic meters. This magma seemingly drained away from Kilauea's summit magma chamber approximately 90 minutes after a magnitude 4.3 earthquake struck in the same general area. Magma then advanced to a region it had been pulling at for the last month at around 6pm on September 14th. Over the next 24 hours, it continued rising upwards bit by bit until it got shallow enough that it opened several fissures on the surface which vented gas. An eruption then followed three hours later. Magma is still accumulating in the same spot and still draining away from Kilauea's summit, so further activity is quite likely. A quick late edit, the same spot ended up briefly erupting again around 6pm local time on September 16th. I am finally back from my vacation to Iceland, so daily uploads are returning to their usual schedule of being published at noon local time in Phoenix Monday through Friday, and 11am local time Saturday and Sunday. As a final note, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.